Hey guys, um, this is another tutorial on how to calculate the volume or the tons of an ore body uh, in a deposit. Uh, this comes in when you finish modeling and you want to know how many tons you have in that deposit. Uh, I don't know for those of you who have been seeing um, the tutorial content uh, here it is and this is what we've been doing if you haven't seen this please uh, take a look <coughs> it's at my youtube channel and that is what we've been following the videos have been divided from A to E and what has been highlighted yellow is what we have done so far data imports in Jovia, data imports in data mine, data imports in leafrock we have also done a bit of CB videos explicit modeling in Jovia, explicit modeling in data mine we are here to do implicit modeling in data mine, but we have done implicit modeling in leafrock part one and two. The videos are only two, the implicit modeling. We have part one and part two. So if you see part one and two, that's the end of the implicit modeling in leafrock. But we had earlier on done the implicit modeling uh, in leaf frog and they and that was share share wide framing before we came to the actual load for the estimation video set c will be compositing in data mine then compositing in the jovia setback for video set d we want to look at the joe statistical analysis as a very well concept in Snorri Supervisor, <coughs> Data Mining Studio, RM, and Jovia. From there, we'll do mineral resource estimation. And there are three methods that we want to go through. I think about four. We have ID, the inverse distance <coughs> weighting estimation method, which we'll do it in Jovia. We'll do ordinary Kriegen in Jovia too. That is another method. We will go <clears throat> further to do indicator Kriegen where you're using a single integrator, only one indicator to do an estimate. And that one is also be going to be done in Jovia. We will go further to do multiple indicator Kriegen also in SEPAC. And that is a, a set of indicators, maybe about eight or more indicators that we shall use to do in Jovia depending on the statistics we are having. Um, we will do a grid estimate, quick way to do grid estimate in data mine. We will also, and that is going to be on our green way. And we also have the advanced way of doing, using the estimate to do on our green, also in uh, data mines to the RM and that and, and, and this are, and this are, that's the end that will be the end we we of 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 that estimation then the video said we will talk about the model validation both in Jovia and data mine and possibly in a uh, small supervisor um <clears throat> so if you want to know how to estimate using uh, inverse distance weighting, ordinary Kriegen, multiple indicator, indicator. Please subscribe and I'll drop videos every week and we shall soon get there. Today we want to talk about how to calculate the volume of an ore body. Uh, after you model that ore body, you want to know how many tons you have. 
you realize that the drill hole, these are the drill holes we've been using for our projects. And no, a sort of <coughs> quite a number of you have requested for um, this data, and I have given them out. If you want to practice, I will you just send me your email, and I will drop this data into your inbox, and you have it as we go on. But please, it's not this data is not for academic purpose. It is only for your practice. It is not for academic purpose. It's only for your practice. These are the the notes we we we, we did in Leafrock and have imported them into data mine. Let me hide this. This is load one. We had because. <coughs> It, it is the implicit modeling where you have no data or where your cutoff rate doesn't exist. Definitely, you're not going to get any data in it. So that's where we have those holes in there. Those holes, we don't have data in them. We also have the load two, which is green. Load two is green. This is the topo we created. Okay, if you realize that the topo has been shaved, the topo has shaved the whole body. Before you calculate the volume or the tons, you risk yourself if you don't shave the the the, the whole body where it is outcropping above the topo. Uh, so you need to take those ones off. Otherwise, they will include inside what the, the result you are going to get, which is wrong because you don't need anything above the top hole. Okay, so these are the drill holes to reduce the thickness. Uh, I'll give it to yeah. Okay, so to do this, go to structure. I want to calculate the tons of a particular body. Go to the structure, come to volume, click on the volume. You see, calculating the volume in half, we are looking at all body one and all body two. So I want to calculate for all body first. Leave the key field as none. And then the object you are calculating is a, it should be a closed volume. The density field, every mine has the density of the rock, so you need to know um, the density to use. But for the purpose of this, I'll leave the density. And default value as uh, the default value of one. I need an output, an output report volume. I'll make it volume one for the whole body one. I need two thickness or two area, horizontal area, as more depth. I need them. I need that that that's just for the training purpose. But we're interested in the tones. Anyway. And then you click OK. If you click OK, you have data mining will give you the summary of the wireframe properties, and you will see the volume to be this, and then the tones to be this. Because you have no mine you getting the tons and the volumes to be equal. If you have mined a portion, you 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 have taken some tons out, so your tons will reduce from it. And these are the extents of 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 of, of the body. The x code minimum and maximum, y code minimum and maximum, and so on and so forth. So click OK. If you click OK, you see 
the other results are here, the same results here. You just see them there. Or you have to save save it so that you'll be able to see the object you have saved. Volume one. So I'm just save it to the project. And this is it. Um, Save it as volume one. Okay, it's here volume one. So because uh, we've seen the parameters we needed to detect here, they are all here. If you want, you can save this one as CSV to go to the projects. So save them as CSVs. CSVs should be here. Wait, it should be here. Maybe, maybe it has gone to different projects. So. Let's go to a different source. Save us. See if it is. You see, it has gone to a location that is not the project. Let me see. Okay, let me save it in the next stop in the See, Project name is do the top. It should be here. Let me refresh this. Yes. Okay, there it is. And yes, so you have here in Excel. Okay, so go back to structure volume. This time select over the two. Same close volume density of one output volume. Let me see underscore underscore load two. I need to thickness horizontal area as more if uh, this three area two thickness vertical thickness. Okay. Okay. Let's save it to see. Save. Let's save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. So volume report. We have it here. You can also do the same by if you want to send it to CSV, just go to file, save as CSVs. Want the same name. Okay. Let's do I also save it. Okay, 
it is. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. This is how to uh, calculate the tons of the, um, <coughs> a solid model in data mining